hey everyone and welcome to my channel today we are diving into the world of penetration testing with a step by step guide on installing kali linux 2024.1 using vmware so where you are a seasoned security professional or just starting your journey kali linux is a powerful tool for learning and exploring ethical hacking so before we begin before jumping in it's important to understand that kali linux is primarily intended for ethical hackers and security professionals so using it for malicious purposes is illegal and unethical so now let's begin with the video open your browser and head over to the kali website that is kali.org click on the download button and you can just see there is a installer images click on it so this version 2024.1 is the recent version so click on the download button over here so hereby you can just see it is installing so as i already downloaded it i no need to install this again now head over now search for vmware workstation so if we just search for vmware there is so something called workstation player click on it and i can just see this page and in this just click on download for free once you click on that and there is a other thing called go to downloads click on it so now we can just see there are two files over here one is for linux and the other is for windows 64 bit operating system so as i'm using windows operating system i just want this file to be downloaded so click on this file and here you can just see the file is getting downloaded right now as i have already installed my vmware so i no need to download vmware for now so now open the virtual machine so this is a virtual machine so i have already installed some of the virtual machines over here so here you will be seeing nothing so it will the screen will be blank so these these everything are the virtual machine which i already configured so so you know i just want to create a new virtual machine so create a new virtual machine so put the typical one for recommended users so i just want to install my operating system later not right now so let it be in the linux and debian 1264 bit so i'm just renaming my virtual machine name as kali 2024.1 we want to just change the location you can just change the location by clicking browse So I'm just going to make a new folder here named Kali 2024. So after this step, give next. So here is the disk size which you have to assign for Kali mission. So I'm just gonna give 50. So now just click on finish so here you can just see kali 2024.1 machine is over here 
So now the next step is click on this edit virtual machine. So we are just going to give memory virtual memory the four. So it differs based on your system which you are using. So let the processor be the same. And hereby we can just see a ISO image file. So click on this and browse for your ISO image. So it is in my downloads. So I'm just clicking open for this and the ISO image is installed right now. So I'm just giving on OK. So yeah, the well and good. So we can begin with installation. So click on power on this virtual machine. Once you have just power on this machine, you can just hear the sound and you can just see your uh, thing called Kali. So click on graphical install. Let it be in the default. So I just want to use English and you can just select your own language if you wish. Let it be in the default. American English. So I'm just giving my host name as a default one, Kali. Domain name I don't have any, so I'm just giving continue over here. So now I'm just gonna give my username. So that is Karthik. And username for the account is also Karthik. So hereby you can just give password which you wish. So I'm just giving Kali Oyo. So click on continue. You can just select anything and wait for something. So now in the partition disk you can just click on guided use entire disk double click on it or just give continue by selecting it so all files in one partition is recommended for the new users so double click on it and click on finish partition double click or just give continue So it asks you write the changes to the disk. Just click on yes and continue. So now in the software selection, I'm just leaving it to the default. I'm just clicking on continue. So once the installation is being done, so here it asks you for installing the grub bootloader. So click on yes and just give continue. So now just click on continue and the system gets reboot.
congratulations guys so our kali mission is set now so now just give your username so i just gave kartik as my username and password is as kali so based on your username and password just log in to the mission so here in vmware we can just see there is a full screen mode here click on that full screen mode and we can just see the five whole virtual mission and for now it is not over yet there is some other procedures and uh, to be followed so click on the terminal over here the black box click on it so this is the terminal so now we just want to follow some commands in order to update and upgrade our system so in order to do that we'll change our normal user to the super user so just give sudo su and give enter and enter the password of your mission so now we got a root access of the mission so now we are just going to give update and upgrade command so now just type the following along with me Type the following command and just give enter. It will ask you for the yes or no question. Just give yes. So now just give okay for this message so in order to give okay click on the tab button and give enter so now you have successfully installed kali linux 2024.1 on your system using vmware so there are various tools in kali mission so you can just use them you can just explore them and you can just see what and all tools can be used for the purpose. so every tool will be covered in my videos upcoming videos so until then thanks for joining me in the installation guide if you found this video helpful be sure to like and subscribe for more content on ethical hacking and security content so don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions and just let me know in the comments until next time happy learning